I want to tell you about a document that OWASP has put together. That's the Open Web Application Security Project. It's called the OWASP Top 10. And what we've done is we've identified the 10 most critical risks to software applications, particularly web applications. And we put this list out there starting in 2002 to focus organizations on these risks so that they can uh, ensure that their software doesn't have these problems. This OWASP Top 10 has been picked up by a number of organizations, including uh, the PCI, the organization that handles credit card security. Uh, many government organizations, especially in the U.S., including the FTC and uh, the DHS and some other organizations. Many, many commercial organizations have picked up on the OWASP Top 10 as well. But it hasn't been enough. The, soft, the, the vulnerabilities that we point out in the OWASP Top 10 are still massively widespread. We need to do much, much more to eliminate them from our software. So I encourage you, if you're hearing this webcast, I encourage you to go find that software, uh, find that document on the OWASP website. That's www.oasp.org. Bring that document into your organization and get it to the people who need it, particularly the developers. Get them to read it and learn about problems like broken access control and bad authentication and session management issues and indirect object references, and all the other issues that we detail in the OWASP Top 10. The document will tell you what the problem is, what specifically you need to do in your code to fix the problem, and why it's such an important issue for you to, to deal with in your applications. So if you're just getting started with application security, the OWASP Top 10 is a great way to align your organization so that you produce more secure code. I urge you to get it and make a commitment that your organization will not produce software that's vulnerable to these OWASP Top 10. For more information, you can look on the OWASP website at www.oasp.org or contact anyone at OWASP for help. Thanks.